Buongiorno a tutti. Oh, I love sleep so much though. It's just so good to like lay your head down and sleep. But you can't sleep when you're in Sorrento. How do I work this door? Huh. Um. Crazy key, like a trident key. Huh. No. Why is the struggle is real? Okay, we got it. He's like in a denim on denim swag. Denim on denim on denim on denim on denim on denim on denim. denim. <laughs> Alright. So here's the situation. I was in Rome for a week studying, and if you can hear my voice. I'm a little congested. I was sick the entire week, which is so unfortunate because Rome is not one of those cities where you should be eternally sick. My plans were to come here to Sorrento, which is down south in Italy. Came last night, was greeted by an adorable, adorable Italian family. I even drank wine and limoncello at the table. And then the mother of the family turned out to be a tour guide for English speakers. Even though I wanted to do a tour in Italian, it's fine, we'll, we'll cheat today. Cos'è questo? questo è... è la donuts. La donuts, ok, come in America, non Bravo, voglio. Sì. Uno di questo, per favore. Sì. È il cioccolato, no? Sì. Ok. Amore? Sì, grazie. Eccomi qua. Che cos'è qui? Pompei? Pompei. Allora sei andato? Sì, sono andato. Molte portato... volte. Molte volte. Io. Adesso <ride> ho portato un cappuccino. Ok. E un bel occhio di bue. Che cos'è cosa... un occhio di bue? Occhio di bue, vedi? Ah, è questo eh. occhio di bue. Eh. Ok. Ah, oh, mi piace. Ho un bacino, oh, grazie. Adesso buona colazione. Oh, okay? grazie. I can't leave this country if there are chocolate cookies. And really nice people that are so family like. A little too family like. Questo è la mia host zia. No, già. Piacere. <laughs> Ciao, sono Francesca, la vostra guida turistica di oggi. Oh. Voi siete pronti per un bellissimo giro a Pompei? Uh -huh. yeah. Look at her doing her thing. Ciao. Pompei was considered a commercial city and so the population we can consider them mostly um, ordinary people, like a working class. So it became a famous uh, thanks to Mount Vesuvius, because uh, it's exactly the eruption that destroyed the Pompeii, that then at the same time frozen, frozen in time at the uh, ancient city of Pompeii. I'm always so baffled. This is like 62 AD we're talking about, like ancient, ancient, ancient times preserved. Another one of those moments, guys. Flabbergast. These are the highlights from my Pompeii trip. One, cosmopolitan city. Like they have everything from fast food places to brothels. Had the main square. They had little roads for carriages. They had everything here. Can we just take a moment to realize how tiny I am and how massive this place is? They even had like moonlit paths on the ground. They had little penises. That is a pee pee. Back in the day, penises were considered lucky charms. I mean, to be honest, this was the place to be until Mount Vesuvius obviously erupted. They even know Mount Vesuvius was a volcano and so that's super sad because then you see castings of people in positions of being like asphyxiated super intense but where else are you gonna see history like this this is all covered in ash about 20 feet of ash and there's still one-third of Pompeii left to excavate excavate can't even speak English anymore. Wowzers. If I was around in ancient times, which like maybe, let's not get into the reincarnation topic, I would have wanted to live here. It was popping. Pompeii was popping. Just saying. Oh, so much food, so much drink. Just in time to climb up Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> to climb up Mount Vesuvius by bus first. Exactly, you will get to 2,000 meters of bypass.
so we're gonna try this out. I'm using my other camera to film. I don't know if it's clear or not. Just bear with me, me and Rich here, doing the climb to Mount Vesuvius, isn't that right? Yeah, definitely. This is what you came for, huh? All the way from Wales. Yes. Already out of, we're already out of breath. We literally just started. <laughs> I missed the memo on the walking sticks. Look at this magnificent, like, just situation that we have here at hand. That's Napoli in the ocean and me out of breath. Rich, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, you're the only one. <laughs> Halfway through. I'm out of this view though. Just the fact that I'm walking on volcanic soil makes me feel like my skin just got clearer. I should just bottle up a little bit of this dirt and bring it back to give to Damon so he could wash his face. Some things to know, the last eruption actually happened in 1944, which is at the end of the World War II, which is like actually pretty recent. After a quick Google search, I did find out this is the most dangerous volcano in the entire world. Do you see the smoke? Cause I sure do and I'm up here and I'm like, uh, there's smoke there, I hope you can see it. Okay, I guess this is normal. It smells like sulfur up here, which, I mean, it smells like something else, but it's famous for obviously destroying Pompeii. And I am amazed by the fact that we can actually be up here and see some smoke coming out of this living, breathing volcano. It is breathing some stanky fumes that I am now breathing, which probably means I should get down from here. So hopefully you like this video. Shout out to my auntie, my host aunt. I am living with her family, and I am also going to start my first day of classes tomorrow for Italian classes here in Sorrento. If you wanna hear about those experiences, don't forget to read our blog, shop and go dot travel. And comment below, what's the most ridiculous and insane and beautiful, natural, wonder that you want to see. This was actually on top of my list, so I'm glad that I got to do it. I want to know, where are you trying to go, where are you trying to see, and how are you going to get there? Because that's the most important thing. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Everybody's looking at me like, this girl's out, yo, my... This is what I miss, Damon. Actually, I miss him. I think it would be funny. Like, you know, we'd be like, still hiking together. <laughs>